Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Deborah. Today I'm playing with paper and what I've got here are two pieces of paper which came out of a, a writing book that I got from an op shop and I've put down some stuff on them, some dye the other day. I did a few like this and I've just stuck them together with a glue stick, just overlapped about an inch of them and I thought that what I wanted to do now was to fold them up into a concertina to make something that would go in my junk journals. So I folded this into a concertina now and I've just come to the end and it's it's not quite long enough. I'm just out a little bit on getting that last page out of it. So I've got quite a few. It's because I put the two pages together it is actually quite long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a bit pages. Maybe I'll leave this one here at the front. Actually, I might fold this piece in rather than out. Put this down here. I'm just folding it. I'm really not measuring and I just have to correct that then. Okay. So now with this, I thought that it would be good to create something that could get stuck into a junk journal and then be a concertina. So I'm going to start by marking that back piece because that will be the piece that I stick down on the page and I also will put an arrow on there because I'm making sure that that's up. So measuring that size it's eight inches which is great because an eight inch piece is you know normally the height that I do my junk journal so that's pretty good and now I want to decorate it up some more. Now I've got a few things out in order to do that. And I also have some old book page and a few other things. But I think I'm going to start on the other side because that's the piece which has not got anything on it. So I want to make that something that I can use and that it can look decorative for me. I was going to make a pocket out of this but I've changed my mind. I'm going to stick it down and then I'm going to put something over the top of it. Now I thought about this which is just one of the belly bands that I made ages ago. So it's got a bit of a weighted end on it really. That's um, that's what I'm thinking. So I think I'll put that down there. I need to chop the end of it off though. I need to make sure that I do not get in the way of the um, fold in the paper though because if I do that then it's going to be pretty useless in terms of a concertina isn't it. I'll take this bit off here. If I put that over the top I might create a pocket out of it actually. I just have to switch glues to my Aileen so that I can actually create a pocket. Skinny pocket but nonetheless a pocket. I might have to make something that's going to go in there. So this is part of a um, board that I did where I just you know a collage board where I put everything on the page and made this another piece from a long time ago actually. Here you go and now I've got when that dries of course I have a pocket and I've got this little journaling space on the back. So it's a bit of a you know good place to journal on there and that's going to fold up. Don't forget that I've got to fold this up into a concertina. So I'll see how I go. I'm not sure if it's all going to work or not. Now before I continue I do want something else down here and I'm thinking maybe I will put a stamp down there or what else is on my table here. I've got these little bits of offcuts. I've also got this. Maybe I'll put that down the bottom here. So again these are pieces that I've made along the way and you've probably seen a lot of them because I've made most of them on my channel. Now in terms of putting something down on that I have this beautiful typing paper. So this is vintage typing paper and what I've done is I've actually um, put some ink down on it as well and it's just it's so beautiful to touch. You know this is this is just normal writing paper but the vintage typing paper is super thin and super smooth and it's just lovely to the touch. 
There you go, it's not quite as tall as the other one, but I think it'll be fine. In fact, what I'll do is I'll tear a bit of washi and put a bit of washi along the bottom here to disguise a bit of that edge. There you go, that's fine. I've got my stamps out and the ones I've chosen are fast becoming my favourite, which are my Tim Holtz Field Note stamps which are just gorgeous and a stamp block and I've got some ink. I've chosen the Black Soot Archival Ink today. I'm just looking at um, stamping this little tag and what I can do with it. Maybe I'll choose the little butterfly piece. The only gripe I've got about these is they don't stay on the plastic too much. Most of the other ones do but for some reason this set maybe it's just because there's that many of them on there this set just has trouble sticking maybe it's just my set that does that and other people's are fine I'll put that and maybe I'll do a little I don't know if I want another one I'll do a ghost print up here yeah and you can see that I've drawn a line around all of mine on the outside because I was getting so lost with you know the things that I had and what was actually meant to be on there and a few of them escaped so this way I know I've got them all on there if I've got a gap I know something like this I've taken that off now I know that um, if there's a gap that I've got a problem no, I need to go find it but I did make myself a packet to put them in as well I actually might put this upside down or this way says this side up and so that's why I made myself a purpose-built packet to put them in what else do I want on there see that just doesn't want to stick I don't know why I might have to clean this maybe on the other side I'm not sure what I need to do with that now I'm just looking for one of the other little stamps that I can put on here I think I'll go for the specimen stamp. Oh, let's get it up the right way though. And I'll put this down here. There you go. And then I might put the bottom bit down there as a ghost print. Okay. So that'll be that page. So that's two like that. Now I do have this little thing here which is another bit mm, no I don't like that I'm going to move on I'm not going to put anything on there this is an old Shakespeare playbook that I picked up super cheap at an op shop I'm just trying to find something that's going to fit on here and I'm dropping these everywhere now but never mind they'll have to stay on the ground till I pick them up this, this is just more of my Tim Holtz ephemera really I quite like this glass one I think let's grab it out I think I'll go with the glass handle with care I don't need to make everything into a pocket so I'm not making this into a pocket I need to get some more glue I'm going out the craft shop tomorrow so I have to get some more glue while I'm there now down here I've got some of these beautiful stickers out they're just gorgeous and I thought maybe another little sticker down here on top of this might look nice and it does I like that now I've cut that off but I've actually cut through the paper so to save the day I'm going to use some of these stickers across that page so these are gorgeous stickers and this one here can go across this page actually and then I think I cut another little bit down the bottom so they'll be a bit like hinges for want of, of a better word that I can put down there and then fold that so that it will still fold in concertina I think I'll put the five down and maybe not that one but something like this that's too big I've got this little 243 coat room check and I think everything else in this pack's a little bit too big actually No, there's a I just spotted a little ruler okay all right let's get organized the five will go down here and then I will put 
the coat room check and then I think up the side here I'll put this ruler. I don't really have a pocket or anything on that do I? Does that matter? Probably not, no. I'm saying it doesn't matter so that's my decision. <laughs> See what it looks like by itself. That's a, I think that's a better way to examine it if it's by itself. Yep, I'm going to put this down. Now, of course, now what I want to do is trim this piece off. And then I'll just lay it out flat again now I've done that bit and then this can sit up here on top and I should have put that down before I stuck all that shouldn't I that's okay I think I'm just going to be able to rescue it right Might go with the big field label on this one. Okay, I've stamped that up and I'll put that up there. And then this one, I've only got really one more to do. I do have something on the other side, but I don't have to have the other side done completely. I can actually just leave it like it is. Now, I'll grab a bit more of that tissue, that typewriting paper and finish it off on this side. I think I'm just going to put one thing on here for now. I might put something more on later but I really don't want to put anything really on. So I'll just put this on and then I'll work out what else I want to put on later. So it's not going to be a pocket, it'll just be decorative. And later I can come back and decide if I want to enhance it any more. I just like looking at this paper which is why I don't want to do anything to it except look at it and then I might put a bit of washi tape on here actually just to and wrap it around the back maybe I'll put a bit more up here like this yep I have glued that on but I you know it looks like it's stuck on with the washi tape and I really want something up here too. I've got that I can put up here. Oh, I've got this. So this is actually a price tag that came off something that I purchased and I kept it because I thought it was really adorable. And that's why it's quite old too. It was on a it's on an old piece of equipment or so I can't remember what it was on, but I kept it just because of that. So I'll put that there and I think I'm going to stop there now. I really want to get this into the book. So I'll just grab a journal and it will go into that. I got one of the signatures out of my travel journal because I thought that would be a really good one to put it in. This is for me personally. I'm not going to give this away or sell it or anything. And if I put it there like that, then I can put some other things in it. Let's see. Is that going to work? I think that's going to work. Right, so that's where it's going down. I should have put some something to hold it together underneath, shouldn't I? All right, well, never fear. We'll work that out. Up it comes. Oh, <laughs> this is junk journaling on the fly. So I have grabbed out a piece of um, seam binding, crinkled seam binding, and I'm before the glue dries too much more I will put it down in the middle of the back and let's get it down. This is a bit messier than what I'd planned but never mind. You're probably used to that by now when you're watching me. Okay, have I got it? Yep. Fold that in and then I need a piece of seam binding. How big do I need it? Not too big I wouldn't think. Maybe I think that will be fine what I've got there. I'm doubling it so 
get this down quickly. And then back. And let's put it back down on that page and hopefully it'll stick again. I might have to put some more glue on it. As long as I don't ruin it, I don't mind putting some more glue down. I might have to switch that out because I want to be able to tie this up and that's in the way. I can switch it out for something that's not quite as tall, it'll be fine. Just put a bow in here and then I'll cut this, uh, cut that and then I'll find something else like I could put this little one in it which will be much smaller and it won't, it'll still stick out I think. It's probably too small here, this one. Yep, that's going to stick out but it's not going to interfere when I tie the bow up in the middle. Things I should have thought of before I worked that out. But never mind, we got there in the end. That's the most important thing. So there you go. Now that's in my travel journal. And obviously I'm going to have to put something that's quite heavy. And this is a light piece of paper. So I'm going to have to weight this somehow. But I will do that another day. That's my latest creation. And I hope you enjoyed that and that you made something along with me. If not this, then something else. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.